Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix the issue of this accessory may not be supported, just like this image that you may be seeing here. So when it comes to this notification that you may be getting on your iPhone, it essentially means that you're having an issue with either the cable or the iPhone itself. Okay guys, so quickly just before I get stuck into the solutions and fixes, um, one thing I'll note is that if you are using a cheap cable that maybe you purchased for a couple of dollars um, from eBay or maybe a petrol station, this actually may be the cause as to why it is not supported as it actually isn't MFI certified which means made for iPhone. So depending on the cable you are using this actually may be to fault as to why it is not working. So even if you are using a cheap cable these solutions and fixes are still worth trying. So one of the first things I would recommend you to do is to actually go ahead and inspect the charging port on your iPhone device as this can actually build up with dirt and lint and grime and this can actually um, cause a bad connection between the charging cable and the iPhone. So if you don't get that kind of like satisfying click um, this means that there is maybe a buildup of dirt that may actually have to be removed. So if it is a bit loose or maybe a bit lopsided, um, you can go ahead and inspect this. Maybe you can go ahead and get a torch and see if there's any dirt in there. And then once you do that, you can go ahead and get a toothbrush, a toothpick, um, a Q-tip, or maybe even a paper clip to just go ahead and dislodge any of that dirt. So you just want to get in there quite thoroughly and remove any dirt that may have been building up. And again, you can go ahead and get kind of like a thin device and just dislodge any kind of dirt that may have been building up in the corners as well. And as you can see, just from that little bit of digging, I just removed this bit of fluff here and that can block the um, cable from working. And you can also go ahead and maybe get a Q-tip and put a bit of rubbing alcohol on it and just rub it on the connectors as sometimes the connectors can actually get quite dusty and this can cause the issue of the cable um, not to be supported on the iPhone device. And as an extension of this step, you can actually also blow into the charging port um, like the old Nintendo 64 cartridges and just remove any dust or debris that may still be in there as well. So the next thing you can try is to actually go ahead and clean the lightning um, cable itself. So again, you can go ahead and get a Q-tip with some rubbing alcohol and you can just go ahead and clean the connectors as well as sometimes these can get um, quite dirty as well. So once you've gone ahead and cleaned the charging port and the cable, you can then go ahead and try to reconnect and see if this fixes the issue as well. And additionally, another thing that you can try while you're doing this is to actually go ahead and connect your um, charging cable and then disconnect it. And then you just want to try this um, several times as sometimes this can actually remove the issue. Okay guys, so the next thing I would recommend you to actually do is to actually go ahead and inspect the um, charging cable itself. Um, many times if you actually go ahead and inspect the ends of the cable, there actually may be a bit of fraying or exposed wires or actually a bit of looseness as well. So if this is the case, even if you have a genuine uh, Apple accessory, this actually may be causing the um, cable not to be re read or supported by your iPhone or iPad device. So if this is the case, you unfortunately may have to go and get a new cable. However, before you do go get a new cable, I would recommend you to actually go ahead and just fiddle around with the ends of the cable as sometimes there may be some internal issues um, that you actually cannot see. Um, so if this is a bit loose, you can just try and like push the cable back into the port and you can also do this for the other end and you can just wiggle this around for quite some times and that should hopefully regain um, the ability to go ahead and charge your iPhone again. So the last thing I would recommend you to do is to actually go ahead and restart your iPhone or iPad device as it actually may be an issue with the software on your iPhone. So if you have an iPhone 6 or later, you can restart your iPhone by pressing the home button and the lock screen button for around 30 seconds or until the uh, iPhone restarts. And if you have an iPhone 7, you can restart by pressing the volume down and the lock screen for around 30 seconds or until the device restarts. And also, if you have the iPhone 8 and above, so this is the iPhone 10 and 11, you can restart your device by pressing the volume up, down, and then the lock screen in quick succession. And this will go ahead and restart your iPhone device. And you just want to go ahead and press onto this 
until it does power down and then powers back up again. So there you have it guys. There's some simple tips and tricks that you can try on how to fix this accessory may not be supported. Um, if any of these have worked for you or if you've come up with your own solution, please share it down below in the comment section as it will help hundreds if not thousands of other iPhone users out there as well. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.